So I was thinking, what if we went on a super spontaneous date, but the date that we went on would be 48 hours in a different country. What is the craziest thing that you've ever done? This is a question that I continue to ask myself as sort of a motivator to go out and take risks. In the past, my answer to this question would usually be when I ran a marathon without training, flying to six countries in six consecutive days, or spending a weekend with an indigenous family in arguably the most remote home in the world. But those are outdated. I want more. So before I leave Europe, I want to ask a complete stranger to go on a spontaneous adventure with me for 48 hours. And to be honest, this is less about romance, but more about the concept of friendship and making a new friend in one of the most unforgettable ways. Now, the girl who I'm supposed to be taking has absolutely no idea about any of these plans. She tells me she's not even a spontaneous person. Yeah, Okay, I officially made it into Vienna, and I think now it's time I give you a little bit more detail about how this is all supposed to go down. So back in 2019, I spent five weeks backpacking across Europe with my best friend, and at the end of our trip, we flew out of Vienna. But on the final day, we had a few extra euros, so we decided to go to the Vienna casino, and at the casino, we met the cashier, and we both started talking to her, eventually got her WhatsApp. When I announced that this summer I was going to Europe, she messaged me and said, if I'm ever in Vienna, to let her know. Again, she doesn't know, about any of this, all she knows is that I asked her if she'd be cool to go get some coffee. I brought these Vienna wafer bars. Hopefully these get me a uh, first date around the world. Hello. Welcome to Austria. Hi. You know I have a crazy idea for you, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm cautious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they had these, uh, I don't know, do you like these? Ah, I don't eat gluten. <laughs> I brought these Vienna wafer bars. Hopefully these get me a uh, first date around the world. Ah, <laughs> I don't eat gluten. <laughs> what do you know so far about? I don't know anything. I just know that you do events and you came here to do an event. That's all I know. You said in our chat that you're not the most spontaneous person, right? And would you say Austrians in general are pretty no. spontaneous? No. We like things having planned out. I don't know, that's just how we are. Okay, so I have a crazy idea for you. And there is no pressure if you don't want to, like don't feel pressured that by the camera or anything, I'll just delete it. So <laughs> I was thinking, what if we went on a super spontaneous date, but the date that we went on would be 48 hours in a different country? <laughs> where? I will pick. Oh, are you, you are not going to tell me where? No. Are we leaving the country? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, no way! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Okay, let's do it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I just have... To, how do I tell my sisters? <laughs> so... I saw her today, I pictured the idea. Long story short, she said yeah. She said yeah. Let's go! All right, it's time to go. Thanks so much. Hello, up there. <laughs> Hello, you made it. You made it. <laughs> I made it. How's it going? Excited? I am. Are you going to tell me where we're going? What's yeah. your hot guess? Budapest? Yeah, that's the guess. Ah. <laughs> Did you tell your sister? Yeah, I just told her and she also <laughs> told me to take your passport and send it to her. <laughs> so we Creep to check. Do that. Creep check. have booked uh, too many people for this train, so uh, too many tickets, not enough seats, but either way, we're off, so see you in Budapest.
Okay, so we officially made it to Budapest. We now have 24 hours until our train leaves. So the goal is to just find as many fun and awesome things to do together here. Ready? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Only one way to get in. Are you gonna make me eat this? Yes. Oh, thank you, Shen. Thank you, Shen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, and you got a little chocolate on your nose. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. Get that sugar and honey. Yes. Oh. No way. Oh no. Romy, this is all your fault. I have so much chocolate on my face. Yes, yeah, you do. Can you guys tell me where where the chocolate is? Is it here? Here? No, here? You, you here? Like your, your... Here? Where is the chocolate on William? <laughs> oh. We booked a sunset tour on the Danube River that includes live music and a Hungarian show. A little bit of dancing? Who knows? <laughs> Get the best seats in the house or what? Look at the front row. <laughs> like, she just picked it right away. Bonus points? Brownie yes. points? Yes. Yeah. Duh. Just got back to the train station. Has been a hectic 24 hours, but amazing. So, girls, if Will ever asks you on a date, you go. Even if it means <laughs> to me to leave the country. It's like a really good experience. I didn't tell you. I didn't no, tell you no, these are my words. Good it's enough. five stars. It's five stars. It was really nice. Like very unexpected. Not how I imagined to spend my weekend. You're like a really, really fun travel buddy. I'm gonna give you that. Yes, we I did know. it, and I'm happy I did. So next time, this could be you. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Sprout Community. <laughs> I'll leave it at this. You are always one decision away from creating a life-changing experience. So ask yourself, what is the craziest thing that you've done and how can you one-up it in the near future? We gotta get back on the train, so yeah. thanks for watching. Gotta catch that train. See you next week.